Hey guys, it's Jessica from Peace Love Books, and today I'm here with a video that my Patreon voted on. I gave them four video ideas, and I was like, let me know what you want, and these are the top two that I'm filming today. This one being Age Gap Romances, which I'm super excited for because I'm actually in the middle of a book that I'm obsessed with. So I have been recommending lately books that I just like am so giddy over that I haven't exactly finished yet, but I know they're going to be so good and they're at least a four star read. So I'm like, I'm going to recommend them in a video because I cannot wait to talk about them. This one is Fourth Degree by Nikki Castle. This is actually an age gap romance. And I think it's funny because I was reading it this morning on the treadmill and they kept on like talking about how old the hero is. He is a MMA coach. And I was like, okay, they keep on calling him old. Is he like in his forties maybe for context? I'm 30 and so then the heroine is like he's just so old you can tell he's so old by like blah 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 and like talking about how they used to do fighting matches where he had to like watch the VHS tape he's 36 <laughs> I was like fully expecting him to be like 45. He is 36, which I'm like, as a 30 year old, 36 is not that old, but she's in college. So she does definitely see him as being older than her. And I do understand that being in college, you definitely think 36 is a little old. So there's definitely a big age gap. I don't know exactly how old she is. They haven't mentioned it just yet, but she wants to get into MMA. And so she definitely has some chemistry with him. He can't stop thinking about her and she's just so excited to be training and he's like really loves that and she's not someone who usually like lets people in or like goes out with friends and the people at the gym are like come to this fight with us like if you're off of work like we'd love for you to come and watch and support someone from the gym she actually agrees she goes to the fight and she just has a blast so it's definitely gonna be like found family too so I am loving this and definitely a bit of an age gap but the hero is so hot like I love him so much and so I'm loving this book please check it out it just came out yesterday on the day that I'm filming this so read this. One that I recently read too is definitely an age gap because he is a father. His kids, I don't remember how old his kids are. They're like elementary school age or middle school. That's Mafia Madman by Mila Finelli. He actually kidnaps her. <laughs> so I've been back into this series. I read the first two forever ago when everybody was talking about them and the heroine's sister is actually the heroine of the first two books. So the first two books are about the same couple. Fausto was this like mafia leader and there's like a bunch of different like factions of the mafia, whatever. And so this guy was kidnapped by Fausto in the first book and he's really mad and he sees the heroine. He knows exactly who she is, even though she hasn't told anybody her name or she's working for this fashion designer. So he kidnaps her and most of this takes place on his yacht spicy fun time. He's definitely older and I just really liked it. If you like those kind of like unhinged mafia, then you're going to like this. And I've been missing that. I used to read that all the time and I'm kind of itching for more. So I might be getting into some mafia romances. There's one I really want to read that I picked up at a polycon. We'll see if I get to it, but excited that I love this one. I have this next one where I own the special edition, but I don't remember where it is on my shelves. It's somewhere, but it's Icebound by Meredith Trapp. This one, the hero is in his thirties and the heroine is in her early twenties. She's actually like a senior in college, I think. So it's about a 10 year age gap. He's at a point in his life where he wants to settle down and get married and have kids. He knows his career as a hockey player where he is a goalie is nearing its end, but he like does not know his identity without hockey. He's like, what would I even do if I didn't play? But he knows his body is not going to be able to sustain much more as a professional athlete and so one night he meets the heroine because she's his uber driver or like driver of some kind of app they aren't specific and they get into an accident and they end up having to help this kid who's having some sort of allergic reaction I don't remember if it's an asthma attack or something but the mom is actually the owner of this really big company and she's really impressed with the heroine helping and the hero and heroine have to now pretend to date so that he could get that sponsorship from her company and she is really young but she she lies to him about her age so he has no idea and then when he figures it out he's like we cannot be together he's like I'm ready to get married you're ready to like fly across the country to do this like fellowship for art in this random country like you go live your life he doesn't want to tie her down and he's playing hockey during all of this and I just really liked it they really really liked each other and there is a scene where she actually knows one of like the rookies on the team because they went to high school together and so she wears his jersey to the game the hero is like you are not wearing anybody's jersey but mine 
I was obsessed with this book. Please read it. Then I have Sweet Spot by Rebecca Jenschak. This is actually a, another college romance where the heroine's in college. She's a golfer for her golf team, and the hero is a golf coach. So he was pro. I think he's like 30, and he is a golf coach, and the heroine is like, of course, they only let like the boys' team get all the money, and the boys' team gets all the coaching, but it's really like her coach is not that great of a guy, and so she's really pressured with her spot on the team and whether she gets to play or not. She has a little bit of an attitude problem sometimes and the hero ends up helping her with her swing and they end up really falling in love with each other and it's really cute and I really like how he there's one scene in particular because like I played softball growing up and all the way through high school and I know what it's like to like epically fail <laughs> unfortunately like when you feel like you lose the whole game because of you kind of thing and that happened to her and there was a scene where he was like there for her and it just it was so adorable. I love those kind of tender scenes. So this one was really great, especially if you like sports romances with golf. And then I do have a Christmas romance, but I was so obsessed with this when I read it. It is Wreck My Plans by Jillian Meadows. This one, the heroine, was not supposed to come home for Christmas. And so, or it was a hero. One of them was not supposed to go for Chris, home for Christmas. So the other one decides to go home, but it ends up they're both there and they have been like dancing around each other a lot and it is her brother's best friend and he's I think he's like 30 and, or 35 I don't remember I think there's like a 10 year age gap between them so one of them is taking the bedroom and the other one now has to like sleep on the couch because they both weren't supposed to be there at the same time but they're thrown together through a lot of like the Christmas spirit shenanigans have to like go and run errands together they have to address what went wrong with them because they were like really into each other back then but they definitely didn't do anything about it and then you kind of like unravel what had happened and they fall in love and it's a definitely a shorter romance which I really liked I flew through this one it was just so good then I do have queen of age gap QB Tyler this one I'm gonna recommend is the worst kept secret I think I did season of secrets last time this one is a best friend's dad romance and I like the angst behind it because the best friend's in love with her her best friend's a guy they've been best friends for so long and she's just never been interested she's like it's not gonna be more we're not gonna get together and she's never seen him that way but he's always had a crush on her and so she hooks up with his dad and then falls in love with his dad and they obviously have to sneak around and it's graduation time and it's just a big mess between them so I really like messy romances definitely super super spicy and the heroes just like I really liked him. He's an ex, I think, football player. I don't remember what sport he played. I'm pretty sure it was football. Um, and so he, yeah, he's just, like, really successful and knows what he's doing. And I love it when he, like, really is worried about her and will show up to, like, drive her home. But then it's, like, doesn't take her home. And... I really enjoyed it. It's really good. If you just like a spicy, fun, taboo time, always pick up QB. The Worst Kept Secret, though, is a really good one. And the last one I have is an ex's dad romance, which I really, really love those kinds of romances, and that is Here With Me by Brooke Montgomery. They actually hook up, and she doesn't know that he's her ex's dad until the next morning when she sees his driver's license. She's like, what did I just do? And what I really like about this one is that the ex isn't necessarily, like, that bad of a guy, so you really understand, like, them grappling with not wanting to like betray him because like birthday girl by penelope douglas that one the ex is like a horrible person you like do not care he is not great whatever but in this one he's not that bad and like the dad is like i really care about my relationship with my son i really care about my relationship with my son like i really want it to be good so like i don't want to be with you and ruin that but also this takes place on a farm she's a horse trainer and he's a farrier i never know if i'm saying that right he like shoes horses and so they're around each other all the time i think it's actually her parents farm and there's a bit of a suspense aspect in here at the end which I really liked and so this one just has that taboo fun time where they hook up and she knows that he's older but she's attracted to him anyways and they get together and then it's like crap so they know what that chemistry feels like but they know it's off limits so age gaps just kind of add that extra angst especially if they like know they have a dynamic that should not be allowed <laughs> because of their history of certain people. So I really enjoyed this one. And those are my age gap romances. Let me know if you have any that you've read recently that you've been loving. I would love to hear because I love this trope so much. So please let me know. And that's all I have. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a good day.